What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for another installment of my Dear John Q&A series. Dear John is where I take a detailed viewer question and then I answer it in video form. You can hit me up on Twitter with your question, just start it with Dear John, or leave it in the comments, Dear John, J-O-N, not J-O-H-N. It's okay, I know a lot of people don't know, but it is J-O-N. Recently, I got a question that begged to be answered in video form. It was something that I had a couple of other episodes planned, but I, I put those on the back burner for now because I wanna go ahead and talk about this. Obviously, if you're a big music fan, you know that 2016 up until now has been a very tough time for a lot of fans all over the world because we've had so many musicians pass away. It's just been tragic. We've lost everyone from Tom Petty to Chester Bennington to the one of the guys from BTS to uh, obviously all these icons like Prince. David Bowie, the list just goes on. It's just racking up in my brain right now. It's hard to process how many we've lost, and so tragically, some so young. I had personal connections to a lot of these, and some of them, even if I don't have a personal connection, it hurts because to see icons dropping like flies, it's scary, and they leave behind this huge legacy that you just hope that more people will pick up on. Anyways, I got a very intriguing question today that talks about profiting off of musicians' deaths. And it's something where it's like, is it right to make a video about them? Is it right to continue talking about them? Let's go ahead and get to the question. Be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are brand new here. Dear John, what do you think about doing videos after a band member passed away? Are they making a tribute to that person or only taking advantage with a trend for views and money? While we can usually not know entirely someone's intentions for making a video about a death, or a video about a band or an artist after they passed away, sometimes it is absolutely done out of greed or for the love of money, trying to profit off of the situation. But okay, let's look at it this way. It's okay to talk about musicians' deaths, especially if your channel is based around music news or just talking about music in general, and maybe you've even expressed that you're a big fan of this group or artist in the past, it makes sense. If you're making a video every single time any artist dies whatsoever, it doesn't matter, then maybe it's exploiting a little bit. I, in the past, have definitely done like throwback reviews in tribute to a band, like right after someone passed away. I did it with ACDC, for example, and I've done it with other bands, like I did a Top 20 Linkin Park right after Chester passed away. It was a video I was planning to do, but I rushed production on it because I wanted to go ahead and put it out because I know a lot of people were asking for it, and I knew it was something that I wanted to go ahead and do. It stung to just continue listening to their music, but it was something I wanted to put out into the world. And right after Chester Benning for example, passed away. I did make a video, but here's the thing. Obviously with news channels and stuff like that, if you flip on Fox, CNN, whatever it is, they cover deaths all the time, whether it be musicians, people in general, soldiers, whatever it is. People die and they cover it and ads run on their videos and they're on their news channel just the same. But with YouTubers, it's a little bit different because we have the option to flip off that monetization icon if we want to. We can control if we want to have ads. And for example, on my Chester Bennington video, right after he passed away, I made that video, I turned off the monetization because obviously it didn't feel right. That was a decision I made from the get-go. It didn't ever have ads on it and it's never going to. I'm never gonna turn them back on. It just doesn't make sense to me. Not that anyone's even watching that video anymore. It just wouldn't feel right. Now, I did make a couple of other Linkin Park themed videos after the fact, and I did have them monetized. In fact, uh, a lot of them just got demonetized in that wave of like when everything was going on and everything was getting yellowed out for a lot of creators. And it made sense because obviously I was talking about death and that sort of thing. And uh, the one that I did have demonetized was the hauntingly beautiful and painful lyrics from Chester Bennington. And it made sense. I wasn't upset about it. It was a video that did very well for me in terms of views. It grew the channel, but I didn't have it monetized. So it's a middle ground there. You're thinking, okay, is John a bad person for monetizing and making videos on Linkin Park right after Chester passed away? And personally, I don't see an issue with it, especially if you're a music-based channel, like Cover Killer Nation, for example. I watch him and he does make videos oftentimes after someone passes away. I remember like Scott Weiland from Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver. I believe he did one on Chester Bennington as well. And I've seen it with other musicians that maybe I wasn't as like familiar with, but I still recognize names and stuff like that. 
and Cover Killer being associated with rock music in general, it does make sense considering he's done that for the longest time. Is he profiting off of someone's death? I mean, he might be making revenue on those videos, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's our place to say, is this morally right for him because we're not him and everybody else is not me who decides on my videos. I have certain instances where I do not feel okay with making money on things. Like I had a podcast recently that I didn't monetize. Like I said, I didn't monetize the Chester video because certain situations, my morals say don't do it. But I feel like it's one thing to make a video talking about it, but there's one step that just goes a little bit further where you could just continue continuously keep churning out content that's related to them. Say I dropped like 20 videos related to Stone Temple Pilots right after Scott Weiland had passed away. It just wouldn't seem like it was in good taste and it would seem like I was taking advantage of him being high in the search results and maybe I would get boosted up there and get some views as well. And I've definitely seen YouTubers take that trend, but I only think it's a little bit fucked up if you just continually take advantage of those trends and views and tags. I think what I'm getting at is the fact that it's different on a personal level. I think every situation is analyzed differently based on who you are as a person and what you feel is morally right. Some people will turn off ads, some people will just continue you doing it because like Rockfeed, for example, someone that I watch and really like, he's a newer channel that covers news and stuff, I would never have a problem with him monetizing his content, especially if he's covering something about a death, because that's what he does every single day. He reports the news and he does it well, and it's something that I even enjoy. And even somebody like Brian Stars in the past, he reports on like the news in general. I don't think he's really even making content at this point, but in the past, I can't even give him shit for monetizing monetizing videos about somebody's death because everybody is different and it's like I said before you can't know exactly what someone's intentions are and if you're a music news channel in general I mean it's just another day of covering unfortunate news for you and sometimes it sucks but it's kind of your job so that's where I stand on it guys what do you think profiting off of musicians is deaths obviously if you're just making t-shirts and stuff like that you're selling them on teespring or wherever else and you're just straight profiting off of somebody's death like that then you can go to hell. I mean, that's just the way I see it. It's something where you're just making a profit and turning money based off of somebody dying and you're just like writing RIP Chester or uh, BTS forever or whatever it is just because someone passed away and you know people are talking about it and searching it and they're like, oh, maybe I'll buy this shirt in support. In fact, it's not supporting anyone except for the person that threw the design up on the shirt. That's where I stand on the whole situation, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like on the video. And other than that, here's the outro. Please, please, please leave comments down below with your suggestions for future episodes of Dear John. Maybe it'll get answered in a future Q&A right here on the channel. If you would like to see the last episode I did, check right over here. Another recent video I did on the channel right over here. All of my social media accounts are linked in the description down below. And other than that, I'll see you very soon right here on ARTV.